Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So this bear guy, he's in multiple uh, videos because there's so many parts to this project. So this is the Barely Art Bear. So I'm gonna move it down so you can kinda see him. He's huge. He's 30 inches wide, but he's also 30 inches high because he's just like a big fatty bear. <laughs> so you can kinda see um, I wanted to show you some tips and tricks. We're putting, this portion is really just putting him on a foam board. Um, and what I would do is, because I don't have it all, I'm not ready to piece it all together yet. But what I would do is, because he's so wide, I definitely, he's going to be sitting, right? So I kind of want to give him, I want to make him stable at the bottom so that on the foam board, I'm going to show you that we have this and this to kind of rest um, standing propped up on a, on a table or something. But that leaves this part right here, his paintbrush, kind of like loose, right? So what I would do is I would take a wooden dowel from behind and glue it to the back so that this sticks up really well. So let me show you. So this is actually a glue stick. <laughs> Don't mind me, it's a glue stick. But it's just so that you can kind of imagine if it was a wooden dowel, I would glue it behind here so that this piece is supported and kind of straight out. The other thing that I want to talk about is, um, let me see where you can really see a seam. Okay, right here, the, his foot. So you see there's a seam running right there. You can see it more when I fold it, right? So that's why it's important that we put it on a foam board so that it's flat, so that the light doesn't catch it. But we also, you just cut out a piece of the white, you, you contour and you put this, oops, I have the wrong foot. Sorry, let me flip it over on this one. This project is so big in so many pieces and I'm doing a live on it, which is why I'm like trying to piece it together so it's not one full video. Okay, this foot's got a seam here and a seam here, but now the foot is seamless, right? So those are all the tips and tricks that we need to incorporate. So you wanna do that wherever it's an enclosed space that you can cut out just that piece to put in here. I mean, this, I mean, it's pretty big, right? But it's not too big for a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, so you will have this as a one piece seamless little paw that goes in and will cover up the seam that was here and here so when you start to cover up all these seams what is left is so not noticeable it's so negligible you're not even going to notice it so that's what's really really cool about this project um okay the other thing is while i have your attention the black you know because it's 30 inches right oh man the black is taped all together in the back, and then we're gonna put it on top. Um, and where there are seams, what I like to do in the end is once I'm ready to, I put it all down, and then I'm gonna slide little glue dots underneath. I kinda want it wherever the seams are because I want that to like stay down and not like have any bend to it. So that's what I will do to get this piece down. But I'm gonna flip him over for now. Let's do the foam board. Okay, so he's super, super, super cute. I'm gonna put him over here and we are gonna do the foam board and give him as much stability as possible. So I'm gonna do something like this. So I'm gonna get out my pencil, here we go, and we're gonna trace, okay? So trace along the edge. Now normally I do it on a black, on a black foam board, but because he's primarily white, I wanna make sure that if there is anything coming through, I wanna make sure that it's white and it doesn't um, distract us. This up here and when you're cutting your foam board you want to cut inside the line so let me move this out of the way and I'm going to show you what that looks like so 
sorry, it's such a big piece, it's so hard to deal with. Okay, so you can kind of see this is where I'm gonna cut. The bottom, I'm gonna cut really close to the line, but up here, I'm gonna cut inside the lines because as long as the, the majority of your bear is um, covered um, by the foam board, it will be stable. So we don't need it covered 100%. We need it maybe like even 90% would be more than enough. So you're gonna watch me cut right now, okay? I'm gonna cut across here. So I'm going inside the line, right? And I kinda wanna make it a smooth cut. I don't really wanna stop my blade. So I'm kinda just going like this. Ooh, that's such a bad cut. Hold on, let me get this out of the way. So I can see the line right here. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna trim it just a little bit because I know I went too close to the line. Okay, I'm just gonna draw it like that. Move this up and I'm gonna cut this right here. Okay, so that's the top of my bear. I'm gonna cut this side right here. Okay, so here's my bear. This is my bear, the two ears, right? You can kind of see it, he's gonna be, the majority of him is gonna be covered by the board, supported by the board. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I just have this bottom line. This bottom line, I wanna be a little bit more careful and I wanna cut along the line because I want the bottom to be supported by the foam. Granted, I am using glitter cardstock, 300 GSM, from Ground Up Creations. I love that cardstock. It's thick, it's sturdy, it's stable. And so that's in in addition with the foam board is going to allow it to stand propped up without any bend to it. And it can stand propped up for a very, very long time and um, for like years. Cause I've had some of my boards for over a year and it's totally fine when you have it all supported. Okay, so I'm gonna move this over because I want to make it a smooth cut. So I'm gonna do this. Okay, so now I'm ready to kind of cut along the line. And I'm not gonna sweat it. If you mess up a little bit, it's okay. Okay, so I couldn't see it there, so I'm gonna do that. And now I'm gonna cut more in here. Okay. I do recommend a sharp blade. I do love my <laughs> Excel pink knife. You see how smooth it was? And so now it's gonna support my bear, okay? So I'm gonna bring back my bear and see down here he's going to be supported right and now like it's so much easier to carry him right um, now on this side this foot is not supported you can either you can glue one of these pieces because it's kind of big right we can add it onto here like this glue it cut this part right here so let's do this I'm gonna show you how to do it So later, what I would do is I would take my hot glue gun, pour glue up here on top like this, hold it, let it dry, glue it from behind as well. And then this piece we're gonna cut right here so it's not gonna show. Okay, so you see then it's gonna be like this and because the foam is gonna support where this cut is, because it's not gonna have a cut there, it's gonna be really stable. Okay, so between this, this will fix this foot, the straw will fit, will fix the paintbrush. So for the most part, our bear is gonna be really supported and can stay, stand propped up. All right, the other thing, no, I think that's it. So you cover up all the enclosed spaces with seams 
with your recut white pieces like we did with this one, right? Like we did with this foot. And then the only thing else that um, I'll talk you through, because I'm not ready to glue it down yet, is I would glue, take your hot glue gun, glue this bottom just like a little thin strip. Put this down and let it dry, okay? Then you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna lift up your bear. Your bear won't bend, like it's not gonna cause a crease or anything. Just gently pull it up and start to glue it down little by little by little till you get to the top so that your bear is glued down and is supported and then you'll be able to have a propped up little piece, okay? All right, any comments or questions Special requests, post them in the comments. I do read all of them. I may not respond to all of them in a timely manner. <laughs> it gets a little overwhelming, but I do res I do read all of it. So it goes on my notebooks, like you know, a list of things to do, a list of questions to respond to. Uh, so I am um, very active in that sense, even if you may not know it. All right, I will see you guys next time. Bye.